Hello, this is Nathaniel Frank, owner of M-Toxin's Venom Lab. Today we're going to talk about Mycurus fulvius, or the eastern coral snake, and dispelling some of the rumors and myths that have long accompanied them. Mycurus is the genus for these snakes, which includes Mycurus fulvius, or the eastern coral, and Mycurus tenor, which is the Texas coral snake. Both of these snakes are in the family Elapidae, which means that they utilize a fixed front fang for venom delivery. Elapidae includes the mambas, crates, and cobras. Here you'll see a black mamba as we display the fangs. Notice as the snake envenomates the vessel, it will move the farthest part of its nose to allow the venom to inject. No chewing is required. Here we have a Malaysian crate. These snakes, like corals, feed on other snakes primarily. Therefore, they bite and hold. This has often been perceived in the coral snake as a chewing action, when in reality it's simply the snake biting its prey and holding on. Note the fixed front fangs as seen in the Dendroaspis polylepis, as well as the Bungaris candidus. In watching the coral snake bite the extraction vessel, you'll notice that the snake bites and holds. No chewing action is taking place. At the end of the extraction, you'll see on the top of the vessel two small drops of straw-colored venom, which is a lethal dose of pre- and postsynaptic neurotoxins.